good morning everyone so today we are going to learn about uh, patterns in java so already you have come across with uh, patterns a lot of patterns lot of uh, things in there there are a lot of stuffs which we have to learn as a programming so patterns Patterns is one of the thing which uh, really which help you to learn more into the programming point as well as into the uh, like logical point. How do you think all those things patterns will help you to okay more into the point. So let's learn about patterns in Java. Hmm? So let's see what is pattern. So, there are so many things in a pattern. There are so many patterns are there, like star pattern. So many patterns are there. In that, one of the uh, first, everyone used to do that. The first pattern we used to learn that is called star pattern. Okay. So, let's see what is pattern. So, you can see that the pattern is like this right you can see that i wanted the output to be like here you can see right now that here uh, which is coming uh, uh, at this point you guys you can see here i wanted like this output star like this and like here you can see number of columns also there and I wanted star like this to be draw. You, I wanted to put this star like this. So this is called pattern. This is how I wanted the pattern to be printed. And all other places you can see here, this place and this place, these are blank here. Okay, so I don't want anything. So when you want to print a pattern like this step, you need two things. How many rows, how many columns you have to know. So, we already had uh, finished with our uh, uh, loops, right? We already know about loops, right? So, loops means uh, here we have to apply our nested loop. Nested loop, uh, then only the pattern will come. So, to apply the nested loop, we need first thing, is the row row you can see a row row so row how many number of rows are there that is four rows okay four rows so i wanted the row that is the number of row is four now even i wanted the column columns you can see how many columns one two three four so number of column is four right so here the row is denoted by i and the column is denoted by j. So that is how we have to make the pattern, right? So, so I hope you guys understood. So we have to apply a nested loop here, okay? Now let's apply the nested loop. This is how star pattern nested loop will come. First, we have to go for a row point. Row will start with zero. And what was our row? It is up to n. That is four, four, right? Number of row we needed is four. So one by one incrementation. Starting is zero and it should go less than four and it should increment one by one. That is one. So each row, how many columns were there in the previous pattern you guys were seeing, right? Previous pattern, if you see, how many, how many were there? Each row, how many columns? One, two, three, four. So each row, four columns are there. So each row, when you take one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Four rows, four column, four columns will be there. So that we have to see that. So each row, when the i brings with zero, when the i brings with zero, j will rotate to how many? You have to rotate to the four. But when we see that, you can see that here uh, there are literally vacants are there. So i brings with one, one only. When I brings with two, two only. When I brings with three, three, three columns. When I brings with four, four only. So that is how you have to go. 
Now you see i is equal to 0. i less than row. That is 4. How many rows? 4. So when i, i how many bring? That many you have to go. So, so when I say j equal to 0, i starts from 0. So it will be like how many patterns? First you'll print that. And then it will, the loop will be like this. So first step you'll see. When next step, that is i is equal to execution will start from as I said n equal to 4 number of rows. So when i is equal to 0, 0 less than 4 is first. I will check like is true. Then it comes to the next step, j. That is, you can see here, the next will be j, j. So what is j value? It's bringing with 0. 0 and j is also less than or equal to 0. So what happened is only one time it will print the step. Right? Only one time. Then literally uh, next will come what is that j will become it is finished. J will increment, but our condition is false. So it will go out. And then again, I has incremented here. I incremented to 1. Then again, I bring with 1. I is bringing with 1. Then I again, it is checking whether it is less than 4. Again, true, right? So it goes to there. J is 1. I is less than. So I is less than or equal to 1. So, first time it will come j equal to 1. So, what will happen? So, first time it will be like, first time it will say i equal to 1. And it will print that first line. Then again j, again it prints that. So, j will start with 0 to the less than that. So, how many times will come? First, I will bring with the 1. So, J becomes 0. First time it print one time. Then again, second time. Again, it print how many? I is 1, 0, 1. So, third time it exit again. Right? So, again, next goes to the next one. I brings with 2. 2 is less than, no? So, how many times has to print? 0, 1, 1, one 0 and 1. Again, 0, 1, 2. So again, you can see the next flower for third execution, I brings with 3. So again, it says that 0, only 1. 0, 1. Then 0, 1, 2. Next is 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's how we have to print it. Then last I brings with 4, 4 is like, in, it's like, you know, less than 4. So it will be like what you will be getting false, the execution of the program terminated. So this is how you are getting your uh, star. So what is your star? You are literally, you need to get the output of the, this one. You need to get like this. So this is how star pattern are doing. So you can, you can try it out. We will, we will do the trial in the uh, online also let's let's go to the online and we can do the trial there You can take online GDP is an online editor where you can do your uh, Java coding over there. So how to write uh, this star pattern code there. Okay. So literally I am writing this uh, star pattern here. You can in, in online GDP you can use it as a main. So here star pattern. So what we are going to write? The code, right? So we have to write like this. How you write? You have to give the row and the column. So I say in this row is equal to 4, right? So I said like that. row is equal to 4. 
then I put a loop for integer i is equal to 0, i less than row, then i plus plus. Again, inside you can go again the loop start, then nested loop, right? Integer j is equal to 0, then j less than i. So you should go with j less than i, right? So then j is plus. So you literally this much only. Then here you say system dot out dot print and then. print and then you can say here as what you can say here you wanted to print what star right so you have to say star and when you when you use uh, here don't use print and then. print print is enough because you want to literally go with that after that you just come out of the uh, j loop and you just come out and say that here print ln. That's it. Okay. Now let's see that how the star pattern is printing. I'd put semicolon over there. So see here. So here it is, you can use equal to. So that it will print up to there. See, guys, it is printing, right? So this is how your star pattern you have to use it. So hope you guys understood about the star pattern. So thank you. We will see you in another pattern.